So this is the uh, CSS3 Pi website at css3pi.com. And even straight on the homepage of CSS3 Pi, they have a demonstration which uh, uses the decorations border radius, box shadow, and linear gradient. And even on their homepage, they're suggesting if you browse the page in IE6, 7, or 8, then the uh, CSS will be working uh, on that browser. So if you check out uh, CSS3 Pi in Browse Lab, or indeed in IE6, 7, or 8, you'll see that their CSS3 properties are rendering perfectly on their own test page. So if you download uh, the latest version from the sidebar just here and open up the zip file once it downloads you'll see there's a few different types of files inside. First of all you've got the uh, uncompressed versions of the files, pretty self-explanatory, then the pi.htc file. So uh, as mentioned in the blog post this is the file that sort of does all the magic so to speak and references and manipulates the behaviors in Internet Explorer. Now, pi.js, um, you might, uh, if you sort of rush in and download this like I did, you might just think you have to run this JavaScript on each page and it'll uh, make your life a lot easier. Uh, the pi.js is actually a sort of uh, fallback version for those that are struggling to get the HTC file to work on their server. If you're using Apache, uh, sometimes the uh, server may not quite handle the uh, content type correctly. Um, so what uh, Pi have done is also include this pi.php file, which we'll talk about in just a second. So if uh, if your server's compatible, you should uh, all you should need from this uh, folder is simply the compressed pi.htc file. Uh, so I've uh, copied and pasted uh, htc and the php file across to uh, to my server. And what I'm looking to achieve is, here's a sort of uh, site that uh, I'm currently developing. You'll see up here in the top right corner, I've got this uh, CSS3 rounded corner button for getting a quote. Now obviously uh, using CSS3, that uh, button is going to be nice and crisp and sharp, particularly with uh, all the sort of retina browsers that are sort of uh, cropping up on the iPad and the new MacBook, uh, MacBook Pro. I'd like to maintain those rounded corners in IE. Uh, rather than actually making an image fall back. So you'll see here, it's got rounded corners. That's how my button's gonna fall back in the older versions of IE. So I'd like to maintain those CSS3 rounded corners. So in order to do this, um, like I said, I have uh, downloaded and placed the pi.htc file and the pi.php file on the root of my uh, WordPress site. So it's not in the root of the theme, it's actually on the root of the site itself. Now, uh, there's nothing you need to run in the head file or anything. Um, if you come over to your uh, styles where you want to use the uh, pi reference, you'll see here I've got the uh, CSS for my button. And I've actually even separated off the CSS3 from the main uh, CSS2 properties. So here's my border radius. And what you have to do, so we've got the, uh, like I said, the pi um, htc and php file on the root. And we're going to ref uh, we're going to run the uh, behavior property, and we're going to reference the URL of pi.php from the root. You can just go straight to the htc file, um, but the um, purpose of the PHP file is it actually forces the content type for the htc file. So if you're struggling to get this to work, and uh, by sourcing straight to the htc file rather than the PHP file, try including the PHP file and actually referencing the behavior to the PHP file, which will open the HTC file and ensure that the content type for your Apache server is correctly specified. Okay, so uh, here's the behavior. And unlike uh, most style uh, properties, the style sheet will source things like images, as you know, relative to the location of the style sheet. So if you're in WordPress like I am, and your style sheet's within your theme folder, it will source uh, CSS images and things from that theme folder whichever the relative paths. Now, however, the issue you have here, this is what sort of stumped me for a moment, is uh, the behaviors aren't sourced in the same way. They actually look at the root of the page that, you're, uh, that the CSS is loaded on. So this style sheet was being loaded on the home page. It would look for the file on the root. If you were in perhaps a couple of subfolders, it would look for that file in those subfolders. So the easiest thing to do to make sure that you're uh, up and running and working fine no matter how many sort of tiers of folders and permalinks and things you have, particularly if you're using WordPress, is to put the Pi files on the root of the server and then source them with a forward slash, which will obviously always get them from the root. 
Okay, so you add the behavior, and you need to add the behavior within each selector that uses CSS3. So you can't reference it just once in this selector. If you have CSS3 elsewhere, like here for example, you need to run the uh, property, the behavior property in there as well. Save and upload, and as you'll see just here, rendering in IE8 now in Browser Labs, we're getting our button with the rounded corners, like so.